ID the mic, does it work? What does it do? When should I use it? All questions we've had. And to be honest, I bet the majority of players don't even use it, including myself. So here's the best breakdown of what it does with actual examples that you can see with your eyes. Because I think there's a lot of misinformation out there that just confuses people. Um, is this something that will help you right now in Madden 19 to get better? No. Uh, and we'll get into um, why that is later on in the video, but it will potentially be important in Madden 20 early on in the game. Uh, so if you really want to squeeze every last bit of performance out of your offense, this will be important to you. Or if you're just interested in the mechanics of the game, it'll be uh, interesting to you. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, how does pass blocking work in Madden at its core? Uh, well, from the blog that EA put out when this feature was first released in Madden 18, the five offensive linemen will target the four down defensive linemen plus the Mike linebacker where the Mike linebacker doesn't necessarily need to be the Mike backer position, just the player that you actually identify. So already off to a bit of a confusing start, but anyway, uh, keep that quote in mind because sometimes uh, it'll help explain it. I think probably one of the easiest ways to show what ID the mic actually does is to show a situation where we have six blitzers coming on a five-man pass protection. So if we come up with something like this, where we blitz, say, the mic, and we blitz the will, just for an example, we can really do anything here. Uh, again, going back to that quote is that the five offensive linemen will target the four down linemen, or, you know, it might change depending on a three down front, but this kind of even four down front is just something easy for me to show for you guys. Um, so it'll block those four plus the Mike linebacker. So in this case, say if we pick the wheel here, the five offensive linemen are going to block the four down plus the wheel and the mic is going to come free. So we'll go ahead and run that. I'll come around and the mic is going to come through. Now, if we ID the actual mic here and we do the exact same thing, so we blitz the mic, blitz the wheel, now we run it again, the mic is going to pick up and the wheel will come around the edge. And we can get, kind of get extreme with this, like say if we go way out here and I ID the cornerback over here and we put the cornerback on a blitz and we blitz the mic, well even though the mic is way closer to the quarterback than the cornerback, uh, if we run this, the line is going to target the cornerback and the mic's going to come through. So that's, I think, the easiest way to show that it's working and how it's working uh, at its most simplest level, where you have a plus one blitzer. Um, but that's maybe not too important to us. So let's, let's think about it in a more useful case where we have uh, five blitzers on five uh, pass protection. The first important thing to know is that off the bat, the mic is not actually ID'd, despite there being an ident identifier above the mic backer, as you can see here. So keep that in mind. We'll get it. We'll get back into that a bit later on. So for these first few examples, I'm going to be manually IDing each mic uh, to get to give you an idea of how the pass protection is distributed. So we're in here, uh, spread two by two look with um, five back, five offensive linemen, and the halfback is in the route, and then we have just a simple four three look with uh, an over front. I think it's just the simplest way to show you guys what's going on. Things get a little bit more complex with different um, uh, different fronts and different offensive formations, but by and large, it's going to be the same. So again, the five offensive linemen are going to target the four down linemen plus the Mike linebacker. So what that'll look like real quick is that, you know, these offensive linemen are essentially playing the guy that's right in front of them, right? They're, they're not going to get too complex here where the left tackle is going to immediately shoot out to the Mike linebacker. He's going to immediately block him, and then he's going to pass trade off with, with the guy next to him and kind of work out there. So it's until then, right away, it's a big-on-big big protection scheme. So the left tackle, Teron Armstead here, is going to take the defensive end on his side. Left guard is going to take the three technique here. The other right tackle is going to take the defensive end here. And then you have a one technique that's split between the center and the right guard here that um, will essentially be passed off depending on who you ID. Okay, so in this case where we have, we've identified three blitzers coming from the left and two from the right, that means the center needs to slide over to the left and help out there to get the numbers. And then the right guard will take over on the one technique. So we'll get off there and we'll show you once I get the blitz here that the center will go over there and everybody will pass off 
and you'll have good pass protection. Same thing if we switch it over to the other side where we're blitzing the will in this case, just the will. We've ID'd the will. What's going to happen is that the center now needs to slide over to the right because now we have three blitzers to the right. So the center is going to take the one technique there right in the middle. And the right guard is going to slide over to take the end. And the right tackle is going to take the, the will linebacker coming on the blitz. But again, you know, right away, the right tackle is going to make sure his man's safe before he slides over to the will. So we'll go ahead and run that. Just like this, slide over, slide over, and we're good to go. And again, if we actually do it with the mic linebacker in this case, where it's just the mic going here, let me get off of him, and we've ID'd the mic linebacker. Well, now in this case, the center's you know head up with that mic linebacker, so obviously he's going to take him, and then the right guard will take the one technique, and the, the right tackle will take the end, just like this. Now, sometimes it gets buggy just like that. Um, because although I think he was intended to take the Mike linebacker there, sometimes things get buggy a little bit. And to be honest, I'm actually okay with that because if there weren't little buggy mishaps like that, I think you would never get blitzes come through in this game. So I'm actually okay with that. But let just, you know, for the sake of demonstration here, let's just go ahead and show that exact same thing again where we've ID'd the actual mic and the actual mic is blitzing. The center will now come and block him. So just like that, I'm happy with that. Now what happens if we ID somebody and they don't actually come in on the blitz? So say let's let's ID the actual mic here and nobody's coming in on the blitz. Well the center is gonna, you know, he's keying on him, but once he sees that he's not coming actually in, he's gonna help to double team on the one technique. Just like so. Now in other situations, let's say we're IDing the Sam here, and the Sam actually doesn't come in. Well, the center is going to slide over because he, he's going to have to in, ter in terms of getting positioned to make the actual blocks over there. But once he sees that he doesn't have to take him, he's going to help out on a different block. Now, normally, he should kind of come back and work towards back towards the one technique like I just showed you in the last example. But I think in this case, he kind of comes over here and helps up on the three. So, you know, little things that, you know, can be picky about. But overall, I think it's okay. Now here's something you may not have caught. If you go back to this blog, there's another quote here where they talk about ratings. An 80 rated O-line will be able to recognize heat about 5% of the time, whereas an O-line averaging 97 or higher in awareness will recognize the pressure on almost every single pass play. So what I've done here is, although this is the Saints offensive line, although they're pretty great in real life. I've, I've bumped all of them up to a 99, so their awareness is 99. And at this point in the game where we're all running, you know, ultimate team, you know, the best defensive line that we can get, this is the state that we're at here. Where ID the mic actually doesn't really matter. So, as I said earlier, um, right away when you call the play, although you have that mic identifier above the mic linebacker here, he's not actually identified. In this state, you're letting the AI take over and do what they need to do. So let's show you right now. So I have blitzed the Sam linebacker here and I've left the ID as it is. If you remember um, from the example that I showed earlier where I did this exact blitz, but I ID'd the Sam, the center slid over there to help over there. Now, if I run this, you see the exact same thing. Perfect execution over there to account for the blitz. And if I blitz the will linebacker, again, I'm not doing anything with the ID, just leaving it as it is. Again, the line perfectly understands what's going on and they're able to pick it up. And if we get kind of crazy with it, way over here, the cornerback in the boundary is blitzing. But again, without doing any sort of identifying the mic, they're able to see that he's blitzing somehow and pick it up. You know, sometimes they'll bug out in the trade-off, but they're able to see that. So really, I think that's where we're at at this point, is that ID the mic at a certain point in the game, and although it says 97 and above, they're going to pick up the heat every single time. I also tested this out around 90 overall or so. So towards the beginning of the game, where if you get the best possible O-line, you can pretty much breach that mark. Um, I didn't see any issue with them being able to pick up the exact blitz. 
No, I think uh, lower uh, lower awareness also means that they're not as good as trading off the blocks. But for the most part, they're going to identify where the heat's coming from and pick it up. So you don't even need to really touch identify the mic unless some really specific use case that you're looking at and then you've labbed it and you know there's a the hot blitz that somebody is using and then you've labbed somehow if I ID this guy, it'll pick it up even if it doesn't make sense. Sure. But in terms of why this uh, mechanic was implemented into the game to add more kind of uh, decisions for us and another tool, I think it's kind of, in a sense, useless because if you have a decent O-line, which many people do in Ultimate Team, um, you don't even need to use it because they're going to be picking up um, the blitz for you. So then the issue is that not only is it doing the work for you, but if you try to do something in a sense that, okay, if, let's say, let's say if it looks obvious, they bring down the sandbacker down here, oops, and he's not actually blitzing. They bring, bring down the sand down here to make it look like he's blitzing. And not many people might do this, but they're actually blitzing the wheel here. So you, know, you would think that, okay, I'm going to ID this guy because it looks like he's blitzing. So then if I run this play, the center is going to slide to the left to help out to protect the three guys potentially blitzing on the left. But in this case, it's actually three coming from the right. And so now you're outnumbered over here where the will will come through. And although the center will try to work back, I think the line is smart enough to see that, okay, it's not coming from this side, it's coming from the other side. And then they'll kind of slide over and distribute the blockers, uh, distribute the pass rush um, to work their way to the other side. Um, it doesn't know it's it's not always clean you have all these seam points of transitions that things can go wrong like just like i just showed you there and that's good you know that's how it should work is that if you pick the wrong guy to come in and the guy on the opposite side is actually coming in you're going to have a much larger chance of giving up a sack but why even do that when if i say do the exact same thing down here i bring this guy down here but i'm actually blitzing the will, I don't need to ID the mic because the offensive line will pick it up for me. See how they slide towards there and perfectly pick it up? So what I think is that the ratings should be um, adjusted. So I don't think that when you get to a certain point, they should be picking it. And they, they do this every single time where it's perfectly picked up every single time, even towards the lower, towards, like I said, 90 overall. Or so maybe even lower. I didn't do too extensive a test. Um, whereas, you know, 82, they'll be messing up their read every single time where in that case, it'll actually matter for you. So maybe if you're playing salary cap towards the beginning of the year, this will matter in terms of picking the right mic. But if you're playing head-to-head -head and you already have a pretty stacked defensive line, you never have to think about this at all, which is kind of a shame. With that being said, there's an interesting way you can actually bug out the super smart offensive line. So if I want to, say, blitz one of my outside linebackers or, say, a slot cornerback if you're running a nickel formation, a way that you can actually bug this out is that knowing how it's actually done. Um, the way this auto ID works is that the AI is going to pick up essentially the nearest... Uh, the closest blitz, the closest blitzer to the quarterback. So in this case, that'll be the Mike linebacker here. So this is the player you're actually using. So you put yourself on a blitz and you have no actual intention to, uh, to rush the passer. So you don't even need to get up into the center's face and go bluff blitz. You can just keep your regular alignment and put yourself in a blitz. So what that's going to cause is that's going to cause the initial slide to go towards the left. It'll cause the center to forget the double team on the one technique or forget the slide to the right where the actual blitz is coming from. He's going to come and target you. So just, just like this, and I'll run the snap, and it'll allow the will to come free just like that. So that's a way that's actually kind of interesting, and if you really know in-depth in the game, that's something that can work for you. Um, but in that case, you know, if somebody's really, really smart... Uh, they would be able to see that, that you, you're trying to bug out their line. And then in that case, with their ultra good uh, offensive line, then they would actually ID the blitzing will. So in this case, I blitz him and I'm trying to bluff, but they're having none of it because they're going, they're sliding out there to protect the will. And they had a little bit of a bug situation over there in terms of passing off the block, but 
um, they were in a better position to do so in that case. The last thing I want to say, and there's actually a lot of um, a lot of interesting information about this ID the mic information that I can you know I can go over uh, you know hours talking about this. But the last thing I want to say is that if you are a six man pass protection, so say if you've brought the back end to block here. The ID the mic feature, from what I can tell, and maybe this was changed since ago when it was introduced, but from what I can tell, it actually doesn't do anything once you have a black back blocking. So ideally what it is, is that you have, you've ID'd the mic, say in this case it's the actual mic, and then the running back would be a, will do a dual read on the other two linebackers that aren't the mic. So he would essentially say, he would pick up the next blitzer. So the five offensive linemen will take the four defensive linemen plus the mic, and then the back will pick up the extra blitzer. Or if there's two extra blitzers, like say this guy's coming in too, the quarterback would need to account for one of them by throwing it hot. So throwing it really quick to one of the slot, rec slot wide receivers. Um, or say if the will is identified as the mic, and then these two come in, uh, the, the back is going to read inside out, so he would block the mic. Um, or if he's not coming, he would work over to the sand. But that's not actually the case. From what I actually see is that, and again, this is actually interesting because this actually doesn't have to do with awareness. So this will actually be the same for a low awareness offensive line. What they'll do is that they will pick the five closest threats to the quarterback, and then the halfback will take the next available blitzer. So from where, wherever that's coming from, he's going to see what the nearest threat is available to the quarterback, and he's going to go take him. So in this case, even if, say, I ID the Sam right here, which, would, which you would think that the offensive line will target him, but in this case it's a little bit backwards where they're going to actually target the guy, the will who looks closest to the quarterback. And then the, the running back is going to end up working towards this side. So it's, it's kind of strange in a sense, but I, I think in the end, it actually thinks, I think it actually ends up working out. I think maybe they had issues with this early on and might've switched to this, a uh, different way of doing it. I can, I can show another example as well. Say if we, um, bring this guy down and this guy's kind of further away. And I, I, again, I ID the guy further away, the back's into block, but the line is going to do the immediate threats, and the back is going to work out to the, the sixth threat, essentially. Anyway, that's really all I want to say about ID the mic. Um, key takeaways is that um, it's really only important if your line isn't great. If you have a really good offensive line, don't use it at all because you're really just going to be putting yourself into a world of hurt, unless you had that little crazy cat and mouse game that I showed in the middle of this video or kind of later on. Um, but if your line is bad, um, it's, it's something to consider that you might need. Uh, so towards the very beginning of Madden 20, you might need that. But, you know, at the same case, I don't know how many people are going to be blitzing because the pass rush is considerably better in Madden 20. So maybe people might not be blitzing at all. You might not need to because the, the rush is going to be coming home. But uh, I think it's interesting regardless, and you know, there's a lot more to, to discuss about it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions below, I'll definitely be happy to, to answer those. Um, otherwise, definitely leave a like if this video helped you out, and we'll see you in the next one.